Hello guys, in this video I want to introduce you a Mobius function. So let me give you a definition of Mobius function. So we're saying that mu of n is a Mobius function uh, if we have the following. We're saying that our Mobius function equals to zero if n has a square factor. A square factor. And we're saying that our Mobius function equals to negative 1 to the power of r if n is uh, a product of r distinct primes. And this is our Mobius function. So let's just do a couple of examples. Uh, so let's find the Mobius function. Where's my blue marker? Okay, let's use the red one. Uh, the Mobius function of 4. Uh, uh, mu of 4 is the same as mu of 2 squared. And according to our definition, if we have a square factor, it means our mu of this function equals to 0. Okay, good. Let's find the Mobius function of 3. And 3 is a product of one distinct prime number, 3 with itself. Like. So we're going to have negative 1, since we have only one prime number to the power of 1, so it equals negative 1. Okay. And let's take the Mobius function of 2 times 3. And in this case, I will get that my uh, input is a product of two distinct prime numbers. So it equals to negative 1 squared equals to 1. Okay, so you can see like how these different inputs are going to uh, get, we're going to get different outputs. You can ask me, why do we need Mobius function? One is the reason why, because uh, one of the most famous math uh, hypothesis, which is like Riemann hypothesis, can be formulated in terms of Mobius function. Uh, and I'm going to talk about this uh, in my future videos. But before, let's just make some observation. Let's take some n's. Uh, and what I'm going to do with this n's, uh, let's take, z uh, not 0, let's take n equals to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. And for this of this n, I want to find the value of my mu of n. Just make a table, make a chart. So let's figure out. So mu of 1, what is mu of 1? I have a debate, but then I went to online check because 1 is not a prime number. And 1 doesn't have a square factor. In some sense, 1 have like 1 square equals to 1, so it's square factor. But what I found is all mathematicians agree that let's mu of 1 to be equal to 1. Okay, what is mu of 2? 2 is 1 distinct prime number, so it's going to be just uh, negative 1 to the power of 1, so negative 1. The same thing I will go on to get for negative for 3, negative 1. For 4, I will get 0 because it's a square factor 5, negative 1, 6. Uh, it's going to be product of two primes, uh, two and three, so I will have one. Seven is negative one. Eight has a square factor, so it's zero. Nine square factor is zero. Ten, a product of two primes, two and five, so it's one. Eleven, uh, it's a prime number, so negative one. Twelve have a square factor, like two squared times three, so it's zero. 13 prime number negative 1, 14 is 2 times 7, so it's going to be equal to 1, and 15 is 3 times 5, so also to 1. And you ask me why I'm doing this. In some sense, it's preparation <coughs> for formulation of uh, the Riemann hypothesis in terms of mu function. So let's find the sum when uh, i changes from 1 to n of our mu function, mu of n. Oh, sorry, mu of, mu of i. And what are we going to get? 
gets 4 when n equals to 1 we have 1 and then 1 plus minus 1 is 0 but we're gonna subtract 1 again we're gonna get negative 1 for 0 we're gonna keep 0 then we're gonna get negative 2 and then our 1 gonna change our negative 2 to negative 1 but we're again gonna get negative 2 then we're gonna get 0 oh sorry not 0 when we're gonna add 0 nothing changes so negative 2 negative 2 but then I'm going to change to negative 1 and then it's going to change to negative 2 again and then uh, negative 2 keeps the same I will get negative 3 uh, and I will get negative 2, negative 1 uh, and so you can ask me why I'm doing this I'm doing this for one reason because you can see every time your function is going to be increased it's going to be decreased or every time it's going to decrease at some point it's going to increase so basically your function is going to be always around zero.